What are you complaining about? Nothing. <laughs> Do you want to come spear fishing with Dad? Have you got a smile for Dad? Yeah. What are we up to? When he's got his group call on because we are going spear fishing with a baby. We're gonna see what it's like to yeah float around out deep in the dinghy with little Renton. Why do we call him Renton? Renton Biscuit, I don't know, we have the weirdest nicknames for all of us. I'm not gonna get into it, it's never funny. It's summertime and living is easy. Nothing. <laughs> a lot of water in there. Hmm. Yeah, let me just come up. We're in a national park, but we just got to go out there. And we're immediately out of it. We'll be way outside it as we head further out to the drop off. Should we hit the road? Yes. Found a spot. We how, have. How deep do you reckon it is? How deep? Uh, <laughs> I just popped Lenny in his little bucket. This is where we hang out while Dad And yes, he's been speaking. wearing his life jacket. <laughs> what do you think about all this? <laughs> Dad gonna get a grip up? This is pretty awesome. I just wear gloves because it's hard to get a grip on the pole. I'm not getting so many fish that I need to be wearing gloves to pull them all in, but it just helps me steady on the pole. So yeah, I'm gonna fill up this bucket for Lenny so he can have a little swim. Um, and I guess we're just gonna watch Riley uh, dive up and down. And if I need to move the boat, I'll move the boat to go and pick him up. Got a radio on board, got some water, two phones with reception. So if the radio doesn't work with the phones, everything should be fine those people who might be stressing, saying we're irresponsible parents. <laughs> we're not irresponsible. We're cool parents. Just helps me steady on the pole. Someone's nap time. We're heading home soon, all right? You gotta let Dad get a fish. Or we won't eat tonight. Come on, Raz. Get us some fish. Go, Dad, go. A go, Dad, go. Hey Lenny boy. Hey, hey, what's happening? How you going? We haven't got any fish yet. Can you stop crying for five minutes? Alright, let's go. I'm sure must be more. What's it like spear fishing with a baby? It's so awesome. <laughs> it's his life jacket he doesn't mind wearing. Grandmama's gonna bring you a new life jacket soon. So we're heading back to La Vagabond. And I'm gonna put Lenny to bed and hang out there and Riley's gonna come out here by himself. He found a good spot and he reckons he can get something there. Good luck. Thanks, man. I won't go deep, I'll just be out here. Alright. I'll monitor channel 16. So I was just cruising around and I saw this bommie down here. So I left Elena and Lenny on board and 
came out and I'm just driving around from bommy to bommy to bommy, um, having a look at what I think looks like I either see fish or see something that looks like it might have fish. So I've just put Lenny to bed. I had to wake him up to shower him, the poor thing, because I couldn't put him to bed all salty like that um, and wet. And I'm listening to a podcast and I'm about to clean the house because it's a disaster. And I'm just monitoring the radio. But anyway, I managed to uh, manage to get it, so yeah, that's gonna be dinner, I guess. Oh, babe, beautiful! Wow, you were quick. I just put Lenny to sleep. What kind of grouper is it? I don't know. Every time I say one, someone tells me it's wrong, so I, I'm just going to say grouper. <laughs> we can't even say grouper right. Grouper. <laughs> Perfect size. Yeah. When I shot it, Alana, it went through the fish and the slip tip went through a hole in the reef and came out the other side like that. Mm. And I couldn't figure out for ages what had happened. I was like, Pulling it and feeling around. And How stuff. deep was it? Oh, it was only in 10 meters. Mm. And then I looked like I found it and figured out what had happened. I had to like thread it back through. It was weird how it could have. You get it on film? Uh, I got me struggling with it. Mm -hmm. used to never get shots like ever you were so bad at using a gopro well i was so fixated on the mission yeah <laughs> didn't want to be bothered by all these extrinsic factors technologies now it's part of my dive i'm like Beep. <laughs> we can joke about the times people used to show what about the big ball with the fast car we don't have much but you know we ain't far let me insist what will leave Riley, you want to tell everyone what you're making? A fish head soup. We've done it before, but you just saute some onions in the pot and some garlic. Chuck the soup in there, boil it up for 30 minutes, I think. Chuck water in there and boil it with um, veggie, veggie broth. stock, and then throw in a whole bunch of veggies. And what about the fish, though, the fish head? You have to strain it and stuff. Yeah. It's quite complex. It's not complex. It takes three hours. I hope it doesn't take three hours. It does. We're going to be sweating in here. Did you see its teeth? Look at this <gasps> jawbone. Nearly as big as yours, pumpkin. Look at this jawbone, Elena. Whoa. You strain the pot and you put that water over in here with the veggies in. And then you pull all the meat out, and put it into here, Separate, and you discard yeah. the bones yeah. and the put other Put the stuff. meat aside and then add it in with the other gear. Once the veggies are done, hey? Yeah, once the potatoes are cooked through. We made a decision now. Cheers, darling, thank you. Cheers. Thanks, seriously. Right. I haven't had fish in a while. Pretty nice, eh? Like the best tasting soup ever. Mm -hmm. The cabbage made it look ugly. I made Riley put cabbage in there because we're low on veggies and we need to eat that cabbage. Seriously, 10 out of 10. That's pretty nice, I'm eh? So happy. I would prefer it a bit more salty. 
and sour. Really? Oh, I wouldn't change a thing, honestly. Fish head soup, you guys. That's what I Are we gonna chop you up? Okay? I killed a cockroach the other day. Oh no, there was a cockroach? Mm. Gross. I like Where I was saw it? it and I was like, oh. And then, because I, I know they lay eggs, mm. what did I do? I just grabbed it. I made a split second decision and like grabbed oh. it and squished it and I was like, oh, what? Oh. Your hand? What? Yeah. Babe, hey, that's disgusting. Yeah. Not enough cockroach talk. We've never had an infestation on the boat apart from weevils, but I don't think they really count. But touch wood. Nothing has overtaken the boat yet. Some people get mice like overtake their boat. Mice? Yeah, mice invasion. I've never heard that. Yeah, they climb up the lines when you're tied to a dock. Rats. Same thing. <laughs> mice, rats. <laughs> that will be horrible. Chewing your wires, nibbling on Lenny's feet. Guys, if you liked the video so far, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here and hit that notification bell. What have you got on your head? Face mask. I've been trying to do it every day. Made of Clay what? mask. What's it made of? Australian white clay. Really? And charcoal. Activated charcoal. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it makes my skin feel really good. Lenny's going to sleep, so it's pampering time. You got dreadies. Yeah. Me too. I need to cut my hair again. What should I do? Should I cut my hair or grow it long? Let me know. How's your day? So good. It's so good when Renton goes to bed early. Tell me something interesting. I've been listening to the Pirate History podcast. Okay. There was a fair bit of pirate stuff going on in these parts. Fancy that. Blackbeard rolled through. Mm -hmm. He rolled through this whole area and went bananas. Navigating these parts with no light charts would have been interesting. Sandbars everywhere, little reefs everywhere. I don't know if I'm tough enough. You would have had to have been. You wouldn't have known the difference. It sounds so romantic and then the realities of it would just be absolutely horrific. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even we've had some tough times. Yeah, they're right. Being they're on realities our boats. of <laughs> what we do. It's all relative. Sweet.